Hi everyone, this is Kieran from Filmstorm Studios and I'm bringing you Quick Tuts number one today. And today we're actually going to look at how to create your rig for your game character to import into Maya and use that as a humanoid game character. So as you can see, I actually have a very familiar looking character here. It's Deadpool. And I actually downloaded this one from online, so this is probably for non-commercial use. Uh, but this is just to explain how to rig a complex model like this with very minimal effort actually. So all you're gonna need is, um, I have the latest version of Maya 2016, but pretty much every other version has the same thing. And if you can't actually find something in your version, you can just come to help and you actually use this find menu and just type in whatever um, I'm typing and that will actually bring it up in your version. And that's pretty much if you're having trouble, but most of the time you can follow what I'm doing. So, Let's come in to our skeleton and go down to human IK. And this is actually what we're going to be using to create our skeleton. Now, normally the skeleton doesn't appear um, first, first time. So let me just come in and delete this guy. And you actually want to come into and say none. And this will actually, this is what you'll see to start off with. So just make sure you click create skeleton. And now we're back at this stage. So you can see we have the skeleton. And you probably won't be able to see your bones through him. So come in and just turn on X-ray joints. Whoop, not X-ray. X-ray joints. I'll turn that one off. And that way you can actually see the joints um, relative to where his body parts are. So let's actually come in here and let's just move this up to like right where his hip is. And basically we're just gonna reposition these joints um, where where they should be. So the hip goes in the hip. And it is important to actually just work on one side and I'll show you how to mirror it to the other side to save you half the time. Okay, so let's do that. Let's come into the knee. Let's uh, position the knee correctly. And let's come down to the foot. Now, you'll notice that it does that. So you wanna make sure that you keep it all in position. So let's bring it in there and bring that in there. Rotate it around a little that in there. You can even scale it up a little. Alrighty. So now you can see that that foot looks like it's actually inside his body. And for his knee, I might want to just bring that back a little bit and then bring his foot forward a little. So that way it's actually perfectly in the center of his foot. Alright, so now you can come up and there's this little button here. Now, with this last joint selected, just make sure the foot the foot's selected, and then just hit this button, and you'll notice it perfectly mirrored to the other side, so that way you don't have to rig the other side. So now let's come in and work on his upper body. Let's just bring that back, just even rotate, just rotate it a bit. Now let's bring his shoulder up a little bit, and maybe even rotate it back and let's bring his arm this part of his shoulder down and let's just rotate his arm down all right so that's almost done let's bring this elbow in and up so that's that's looking good and now let's just quickly rig this hand you can actually click that hand and press F so now you can actually rotate around it and to rotate I'm holding alt and left mouse button zoom is alt uh, middle button and zoom is alt and right mouse button. All right, so let's reposition this guy and let's bring him up. All right, so let's quickly work on these fingers and that way you can actually do hand animation later if you want to. So human IK is a very um, powerful tool to um, get you um, really nice um, rigs in like half the time because it makes the rigging nice and simple. And the skinning method that I'm gonna show you, which is actually what binds the skeleton uh, to the mesh, um, is really, um, really fast and saves you painting a lot of it out. So let me come in here, let me bring this one down and across, and there's two more fingers. Let's bring this one. And you guessed it, once we do this, we can actually mirror it. So we don't have to worry about rigging the whole other hand and repositioning all of those other little fingers. So that's looking good. Let me just bring that one in. 
And now let's just finish off with this one and rotate that guy in. Bring that down and bring that in. All right, so look at that. We have our hand. Let me just actually just rotate this guy out a little. All right, so we have our hand all rigged up. He's got his shoulder. So let's come down to his hand, click mirror, and voila, that is all done. He's rigged perfectly on the other side. So let's bring his neck. Now find, have the neck, this neck bone right where his jawline is, and then have that roughly uh, around just above his eyes. So that will be perfect and actually bring it forward so it's in the center of his head. I might actually bring that up a little bit more and then bring that down a tiny bit. All right, so that looks perfect. All right, Deadpool, so now we're up to the skinning progress um, process and we're at five minutes, so we're doing quite well for time. So let's click on the mesh and you, you can see I've actually um, created a group and you can actually do this by middle mouse clicking and then dragging it onto um, your top layer and that will actually create a little group for you. And if you can't see this menu, it's actually this outliner. If you click uh, this button, that will bring that up. Or you can go Windows, uh, General, uh, well actually it's just Windows Outliner right here and that will create a little popped out version for you. So that's how you do that. All right, so let's begin skinning. So let's click the base mesh or the skeleton and let's click, um, shift click um, Deadpool. So that way we have both of them selected. Now come up to skin and we're actually gonna click this little um, box in here to give us more options. Now the best settings to use are joint hierarchy, geodex, um, geodesic voxel, and basically this creates a, um, a fake um, space in between each of the, the, the bones to the mesh and it finds the distances for you so you don't have to worry about painting them out which is a lot more powerful than the old heat map and closest in hierarchy. So just make sure you have it set at geodesic voxel. Um, skinning method, we we'll shall just use the, the old classic linear. Um, interactive, distance, leave all the others the same, about five influences. Um, maybe turn the resolution up to 512. I find that gives you a, a higher quality um, bend or mesh and bind. So let's just click bind skin and you'll see that it's voxelizing down here and we'll just let that run and you'll see it will actually colorize our bone um, structure in a second. So this is the distances, so it's calculating the distances in the bone to the mesh, so you don't have to paint out the, um, the bones and the skinning. So that's almost done. It's almost there, 77, 90. Alrighty, I should almost I'll spit out the um, our rigged model any second. There we go, signing everything. So now if I unclick, you can actually see it's created these colorful bones and that's actually um, because it's painted um, everything for us. So now in order to make it easier to control our character, let's come up to source and turn on control rig and you'll see it's created all of our bones for us and we can actually click on this base um, hip movement. You can actually turn off um, the mesh so you don't accidentally click it. And let's come in here and you can see that we've created our um, our our rig and it's looking great now ultimately you wouldn't want to rig the guns and everything you'd probably want to have that separate but just for the, the point of this tutorial it might make it easier um, and yep so you can see that we have pretty much rigged that really really quickly and we can pose them in a in a goofy looking way <laughs> All right, so that's um, that's gonna be great inside um, Unity. So now let's have a look at how to um, let's ha have a look at how to bring this into Unity and create our humanoid character. So let's just bring him back to our default stance. That's how you um, you bring him back. Now let's turn back on geometry and we're gonna say file export all and we shall just uh, send him to documents and we'll just create a new 
um, folder and we call it uh, Deadpool model that will do and we'll go into it and we shall call it Deadpool uh, character rig and pretty much all of these things you can leave um, as they are we don't really need to worry about any of these you just want to make sure that your FBX is around 2014 to 2015 for the, the best results and now I'll export everything it should export our rig now if we jump over to Maya this is actually the last tutorial that we did for the our simple third person um, part 6 and what we're going to do is we're actually going to import um, our model so let's go import new asset let's go to documents and we're actually going to find wherever Deadpool went. Uh, where are you at, Deadpool? There we are. And the Deadpool character rig. And you can actually see that brought him in, but he doesn't have any textures. So we'll want to drag him into the scene. We can scale him up. And we need to change him to a humanoid. So just come down to um, from generic to humanoid. Um, we want to create from this model click apply and he is all set to receive some animations now what we need to do to bring in the textures is to find the original uh, download folder and I have the textures here so let's just bring that guy in and this will pretty much be enough for the, the time being let's just let's just throw uh, we need to create a, a um, material now in here, I think it's Deadpool, that one. Uh, or is it, which one is it? It's one, it's one of these ones. There we go. And you'll see he's all shiny, and it's just because the, um, the smoothness is up. So that's him, but once you once you finish moving all the, the textures around, that's how you, you'll get him looking good. But let's just worry about um, getting the animation on him. So you can see we've got our animator, and we can actually bring in uh, one of the scene ones, which is uh, the player movement one that we are using. And we can probably press play, and you'll notice he'll start doing the idle animation once we um, it compiles and throws it in. So there we go. So now you can see that he's um, he's in the idle state, and we've successfully rigged our um, our character. And yeah, he's he's definitely chasing us around. <laughs> and you could pretty much even um, throw that in, and you could um, bring in the enemy movement, and we could even um, yeah get him to do the enemy idle. But we have to um, to rig him up properly, so you can see that he's um, he's doing the nice uh, idle animation, and these guys are freaking out. So yep, that's how it's, that's how to uh, create a rig inside Maya and bring that into Unity and get that all working properly. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, this demonstration and stay tuned to more tutorials and I'll catch you guys in the next one.